First Contact at Studio V Bloggers Gathering is the third gathering under the All Malaysian Bloggers Project under Star Online Bloggers Directory. The gathering was held in conjunction with the release of Star Trek The Future Begins on May 7. Activities during the event included Treasure Trek, Gopher product demo, photo opportunities with Star Trek Captain's Chair, the auction of Star Trek Captain's Chair, fun time with Red FM which included the 10,000 ringgit handshake, trivia challenge and lucky draws. The guests then proceeded to GSC Wanutama to watch the special screening of Star Trek The Future Begins. I am in Lieutenant Uhura's costume and we are not on the Enterprise. We are at the special screening of Star Trek where Star Trek fans will get to watch the movie a week ahead of its opening date on May 7. Hundreds and hundreds of people are lining up GSE One Utama right now to get their tickets for this special screening. And we see costumes, we see gadgets, we see people with very special ears, all ready to watch this movie with its very, very good looking cast. At this moment, uh, we are going to talk to some hardcore fans about their expectations of the movie. Hi guys! Okay, can I just ask you, um, what, do you what do you expect uh, of this movie? Because the last one has been years and years before. Uh, this is supposed to be very different from most of the previous Star Trek. I think it's trying to cater to the mass audience. Uh, it's got new, all new special effects, all new uh, uh, let's see, storyline. And uh, they even changed some of the things that were considered traditional. So it's, it's meant for a new audience. Well, I expect a lot of special effects, of course. The uh, previous movies, they, they come like just an extension, uh, extended version of the, the series. So this one is going to really look like a movie. It's going to be... Um, other star uh, genre of movies. Okay. Um, what's your favorite character out of this movie? Out of this movie, it's got to be Scotty, the chief engineer. Okay, why is that? Engineers are the ones who run the starship. Captains are the ones that take the starships and crash them on planets and get them blown up. <laughs> Engineers are the ones who take care of the engines. So, Tucker, uh, uh, Scotty, LaForge, uh, these are the people on my heroes. Live long and prosper. Alright, okay, very exciting times because I'm going to be going in and I'm uh, going to watch the very good looking Stella cast on this movie too. Stay tuned. We caught up with the fans after the movie to find out what they think about the new Star Trek. Yes, the movie is fantastic, wonderful. I think the director JJ Abraham did a wonderful job. All right. Stay true to the essence of Star Trek. Yeah, the reason, the reason is that it is a reboot, but yet they are able to keep it in the timeline called the alternate reality. That is, whatever we know for the past 40 years, it still remains. Yeah, and yet, you still have a new generation of Star Trek. I thought that is a wonderful part of J.J. Abraham. Very, very nice. But the director, J.J. Abrams, did very well, and he managed to broaden the prospect of the film to, to encroach the non-fan as well. So I'm really, really, really pleased of the movie. And yeah. I recommend this to other uh, definitely, to definitely. I I give it four stars out of five. Where did the other star go? Uh, the other stars will go because uh, the complexity of the movie itself. It's um, I think I think the story is not that uh, very compelling compared to I mean like, but but it's still better than the previous Star Trek uh, movie. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Star Trek, but. Um, I thought it was good, it was entertaining, kept me going, nice story, you know. Okay, so would you recommend this movie to your friends? Come and watch it next week? Yeah, yeah. If you're into science fiction, you like something in science fiction, a bit of action, yeah. It was a really good show. I didn't, I didn't expect it to be, yeah, so outstanding in so many ways. Was it your first time? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a tracky myself, so I don't know much about a movie, but uh, like Yahoo Movies put it, it certainly made me one. I didn't really expect much of this, because I, I thought Star Trek is a, a bit boring, but I actually enjoy it, surprisingly. Change your mindset about Star Trek? Yeah, the actors are great. Okay, so what's your favourite character? James Kirk. <laughs> yeah. Okay, why? Cute. <laughs> 
live long and prosper. Well, obviously I can't compare to other Star Trek movies, but I thought this as a movie on its own was outstanding. It was a great movie. Yes, incredible movie. Uh, effects, the storyline, everything. It was just great. It was a great movie. Yeah. Uh, I think it's an awesome movie. Awesome. Yeah, it's just five out of five. Five out of five. Yeah. Can you elaborate a little bit more what you what you thought about um, the plot? It's not predictable. It's worth watching like may, maybe three times in the cinema. It's a it's really good movie. Live long and I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. The movie was an absolute blast. The trackies, the trackers and the fans had an absolutely great experience. So you better watch out for the opening night of this movie on May 7th. In the meantime, log on to staronline.tv to watch more videos from Star Trek and also coverage of First Contact at Studio V. This is Debbie Chan signing off for the Star Malaysia.